Chemistry of Gore-Tex. I'm your host, James DeBoer. All right, now, this little feature we're making right here, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about Gore-Tex. You know, how, what, what is it, how it's made, and uh, how it works. Okay, let's go. So you wanna know what Gore-Tex is? Gore-Tex is a material created by chemist W.L. Gore way back in the olden days in 1969. Gore-Tex is used in everything from jackets to boots and shoes or even human tissue implants. That's kind of creepy if you ask me. Gore-Tex, you want to know what's in Gore-Tex? I'm going to tell you what's in Gore-Tex, okay? Gore-Tex is a fabric which is a laminate, which usually means that it's two or more layers bonded or sewn together, okay? Uh, to form one very reliable and waterproof fabric. It's composed much of polytetrafluoroethylene, uh, which contains fluorine and carbon elements. You know what I'm saying? To clarify, the Gore-Tex membrane has 9 billion pores per square inch, with each pore 20,000 times smaller than a drop of water. These pores keep wind and water out of the inside of the jacket or boot, but allow vapor to escape, which keeps you dry and comfortable. The Gore-Tex membrane is made by fluorine atoms attached to long chains of carbon atoms. The bonds between fluorine and carbon are very strong polar covalent bonds. The Gore-Tex membrane is then placed in between other fabrics and sewn in to a jacket or shoes. Alright, to show you how Gore-Tex works, I've assembled an old Chicago Bulls jacket and the original Gore-Tex jacket and I'll be dumping 250 milliliters of water on each one. Now if everything goes good, the Gore-Tex should keep the water out from passing through into the jacket and the Bulls jacket should, should just absorb the water like a piece of toilet paper or your next leading cotton brand paper towel. Okay? Let's do this. Ah, Alright, first for the Bulls jacket. Check this out. Watch very carefully, okay? Okay, watch this. In a matter of minutes, all this water will be spread and it'll soak right into the freaking jacket. Let's take a look how we're doing in ground zero. I'm talking inside the jacket. Well, I wonder what the hell's going on. It's as wet as a dead dog's fur in here, okay? There's so much water inside the jacket. If you were in the Antarctica, you would freeze to death, literally. This jacket is not Gore-Tex. We'll let the Bulls jacket soak in a little bit more, but now we'll check out the real thing, Gore-Tex. You can see for your own eyes, this stuff works, okay? <sighs> working already, I can tell you it's working already. Now look at this. It's pooling up right here. As you can see, it's keeping the water out. Unlike the Bulls jacket, get a look at the Bulls jacket. You can see a little bit of pooling there, but the rest is soaked right in. This is genuine Gore-Tex, keeping the water out. You know why? Because there's 9 billion pores per square inch, which keeps the water out, which keeps you dry, dry as a freaking bone, ladies and gentlemen. This is premium Gore-Tex for your eyes only. Okay? Now let's take a look, let's just look at the Bulls jacket again. Look at this. Soaked right in. You feel the inside. Feel this. Come on, you gotta feel this. Okay, put your hand in the inside. How wet is that? You tell me, how wet is that? that? That's very wet. Okay, and look at this stuff. Keeping the water out. I love it. You love it. Gore-Tex. It works. Dry as a bone. That's what my whole project's all about. Thank you for watching the chemistry of Gore-Tex. I'm your host, James DeVore.